eating some graphics. Make your graphics smell good. In case y'all are wondering, while well, I take a shock out, you're about to see. I want to say thank you to Chad Saltz for allowing me to borrow his shock for a lifesaver. Not exactly what I was planning on doing. I called Matt and he was like, yeah, he said that's the, that apparently was the problem that Chad was running into, is the compression valving is like one setting softer. It was like, just turn in the, turn in and make it as stiff as possible. Man. KTM. He just went around the top bar part of the berm. Oh, he comes up. Oh, the again, problematic. Fade to the outside and then hits the Kawasaki tub block with his foot peg and then, oh, goes right into Meshi. Thanks, sir. Last night was wasn't was another interesting one. Honestly, I feel like I'm heck hitting one heck of a of a steep learning curve. We thought we had that shock fixed. Turns out there was another piece in there that we didn't know was broken. So unfortunately, had a, a mishap with with Hunter, and we ended up both going down in the process. And obviously, it wasn't it wasn't really his fault. Um, wasn't really my fault, you know, a series of unfortunate events, I would say. Just keep moving forward and keep focusing on, on what's ahead rather than what's behind. A few moments later. We're making tacos, guy. So it is 10 o'clock at night before Indy 3. I have a presentation due by Sunday night for my, my master's course for professional development and have to do something based off of what we've learned so far, which is actually quite nice. Maybe probably, possibly procrastinated just a little bit. And so I have to do all the research and get everything done in a very short amount of time, but you know, it's how it is.
in the win in the 250 LCQ. This final quarter, who will get it? Caparizzi's in, Meshi's in, and Luhovi comes back to grab the fourth and final transfer position. Oh, baby. Oh, baby.